So Marcus County reporting from the front of the uh, front of front of criminal court in uh, Staten Island for the Anthony Camillo uh, case. Behind me, you see the uh, lawyer has just come out, uh, Robert Gottlieb, and uh, I believe what uh, maybe some family members. So Mr. Gottlieb is uh, making his way out of the courtroom. And I was inside, so I'll just give you a recap of what, what it was. It, was, it wasn't it was a very event, eventful thing. Again, Marcus Conti reporting from Staten Island Criminal Court. <laughs> the QAnon killer. Still tracking the QAnon killer. Uh, it's just fascinating stuff, man. It's an unbelievable story, man. Of a guy who got stuck down a rabbit hole and and shoots the, the you know... The, Shoots the, the, the leader of the Gambino fucking crime family. Of all the people in the world, this guy could have shot. Uh, so is it connected? Is it connected to you jerk-offs, you fucking LARPers? Well, we all going to find out, man, very soon. We all connecting those dots. So today, um, so there was a bunch of family members. I'll just give you what I saw. There was uh, last, uh, last time here... There was uh, a motion to suppress the evidence that we saw at, the tr at that hearing last week or last month, whenever it was. So the last hearing, there was evidence presented. And the, the, uh, uh, Mr. Gottlieb, the uh, attorney, motioned to suppress that evidence. And today that evidence suppression was denied. So everything we heard, that all that confessional video... All that, all that stuff uh, sticks, right? So it's official, right? What else? So uh, motion to suppress tonight. The other, the other point, that was point number one. There was only two things that happened today. That was one. And the other was um, Camillo is being combative, is not being cooperative. He's not cooperating with the psychological evaluation by the doctors. He's basically, uh, the way I gathered it, he wouldn't, he wouldn't sit down with the psychological people. Now, that affects his, his um, ability to make a defense of uh, innocent, or, or innocent by mental defect, right? By mental disease. How can you do that if you won't, if you won't let them evaluate you? So the judge basically, basically smacked Camillo and adjourn the case until next time until he cooperates i'll go around the side see maybe we could see the uh the paddy wagon <laughs> all right so so those were the two things that came out of it suppression of evidence not happening all evidence sticks so far presented which is which was damning i told you the the confessional video three hours of confession confessional video is inescapable he he you know he inescapably admits it, right? I was going to try to talk to Gottlieb. I don't know if I, if I said it, but the lawyer, Mr. Gottlieb, Robert Gottlieb, has a gag order. He's not allowed to talk to the press. <laughs> so that's why he ran out. He's a very nice guy. He just, he's not allowed to, he, he's not allowed to uh, speak at all. But um, so evidence to suppress off the table. And... Psychological evaluation, you either do it or I believe the way it was explained is that if he doesn't submit to a, med to a, a mental evaluation, then a psychiatrist appointed by the court or some, somebody is going to come in there and testify that he refused it, which, which you, can't make an, you can't make a defense for insanity. If you're not, if you don't have an evaluation, you can't just say, "Yeah, I'm crazy." Yeah, well, prove it. Let's talk, talk to our doctors for four hours, and we'll we'll see if you're crazy. We'll, you know, we'll find out a little something about your craziness. Uh, so those are the two points. And uh, you know, again, there was no no. What we're looking for in this case is, we're looking for hard evidence of a connection to the, the QAnon conspiracy. The fact that the lawyer, has stated that Camillo has has um, has been in the QAnon boards a thousand times. Thousands of... There's the paddy wagon. 
I'm not going to try to walk through. <laughs> can, I, can I walk through? I just asked the cop, can I walk through? He said, no. <laughs> so, the, um, so that's what we're waiting for. We're trying to, what we want to see if it's true. Was, was Anthony Camillo down the rabbit hole, the, down the online rabbit hole? This is going to be uneventful, so I'm going to keep walking. What, was he down that rabbit hole? Huh? Is it is it true? Is he is he the you know? Is it the fucking the cue on his hand? Right? That's what I want to know. Right? Uh, you can't make the shit up, man. Guy kills the Gambino crime boss, man, and, and uh, you know, and now he's he's in jail. Same he appeared, uh, same blue suit, same blue shirt. He had uh, his beard was very scruffy. He it looks like they took away his razor blades. Um, what else? He was handcuffed behind his back. They never cuffed him to the chair. Uh, probably because they knew he wasn't going to stay, so they, they let him, they, they kept him cuffed to the chair. There was a conference in the courtroom. The, the judge, the prosecution, and the, the attorney spoke uh, for a few minutes. There was a five minute break. The lawyer came back with a book and explained to Camillo, You must submit to the psychological evaluation or your chances of getting a uh, uh, defense of mental defect or you know innocent by men by uh insanity plea is off the table and then you know then you see you have to be 100 percent cooperative if you're going to try to do that if you're going to say you're crazy well maybe he's so crazy he doesn't know that <laughs> i mean it's a it's a tough it's a tough one to call you know what i'm saying oh wow i don't know if you could see it but you could see the freedom tower from here we're in Staten Island. It's a beautiful old building over there. That's the uh, that's Borough Hall, and you can see all the way right right in between this here is the uh, is Manhattan. You can see the Manhattan skyline right there. So that's really it from the courthouse here today. It was an uneventful day. Uh, I guess eventful in the sense that we learned that he's that there is there is a there is definitely an insanity plea on the table. All right? We got to find out, man. We got to find out what boards he was reading. All right? All, all, the, the truth community, the, the QAnon people, the people that, that chat, the people that participate, we know more about the story than anybody. All right? And behind that, was it gangster money? Was it political money? Was it, was it just... Love of country. Trump is going to save me. That's what he said. Trump is going to save him. Right? Trump's going to... He believed he was communicating directly to the President of the United States. And that's why he shot the guy. So, uh... We'll see. One more time. We got, we'll be back there for the next hearing. Marcus Conte reporting.